Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, I have decided to do another one of the paper towel swipes. So, I thought I would like to do a nice green, one with greens in it. So, sometimes it's just a matter of liking colours and seeing if they work. Doesn't always go to plan, but um, hopefully it will. So I have, these two colours are Eraldo Di Polo, which is Deep Sea, and I think it's medium green or green. Um, I'm not sure where I've put, oh, here it is. Oh, it is Green Light. And this one is Montmartre um, Aqua, I think it's called aqua light green or aqua green so they will be my my normal colors and then i'm going to swipe with the um the white again because i actually um haven't got another container to mix up a different swipe color until i actually get to it so what i will end up doing is i'll end up covering the the base coat and then doing the swiping so i'll do that in a second i may pause it because i have forgotten my gloves Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I found my gloves and I got my corner catcher because I probably will use it this time because I made slightly less paint. So I used uh, 55 grams of paint and 55 grams of pouring medium, which is Elmer's clear glue, 70%, water, 30%. So they're both one, they're all one to one. The white is a little bit thinner and I have added Helmar's silicon oil a couple of drops into it um, so that's the best way is just make your swipe color a little bit thinner than these and add silicon only to the swipe color not the other colors so we will go let's go green first eh? so it does feel thick a bit the paint but I preferred it to be thick because I got much better cells when I did that compared to when I um, had a slightly thinner mixture. Oh, there's still a bit of paint left in that. How did I miss that? Okay. Then I am going to go the aqua green. And lastly, the deep sea. So I wanted the deep sea to be on top because this white color is white. So I wanted the darker color to be at the top. But once you swirl it all around, the colors get mixed up anyway. So it doesn't really matter hugely. I do just find putting certain colours in certain orders. So the deep sea will probably be the most dominant colour because it's on top. So there is the three colours on there. So now we just got to tilt and I'm going to use the corner catcher so I don't lose too much paint. I am recording. Yes, I am. So these were a lot of fun, and I actually think they, they turned out quite good. So, as normal, I tend to always go to the same corners first for some reason. It's just what happens. I'm a little bit of a creature of habit. I think we've picked that up by now, by if you've watched me a little bit. So it doesn't matter too much how you get the canvas covered. All the colours will usually show up. We just want it to be well covered. So 
So as you can see, the, the bottom colour always disappears the most when you do this. So you could always use half your cup of paint and swap it around so you're not using the whole cup. Um, at the, at the, so you could do half, half the light green and then do the other colours and then go back to using a little bit more on top. I actually didn't mind that if the green was less on the canvas that wasn't going to worry me. So now I just want to make sure that all my corners are covered. So what I do is I run my finger down the edge to grab that excess paint and I just dab it in the spots where the paint didn't get on the canvas. It doesn't matter if you this is one time where you can put your fingers over the top of the canvas. Okay. That looks pretty good. Are we still centralized? Yes, we are. All right, now get my gloves off. Don't like working with gloves on, but um, I also don't want to have colored hands all day long. So what I am going to do now is I will torch the canvas. Just to get rid of these extra bubbles because I don't have any silicon in it yet. So once you've got silicon in it, um, I don't normally torch. Well, I do, but I torch differently, more controlled. This is just get rid of the bubbles and some wanting to pop. Okay, torch out of the way, and I dropped. A little bit of dry paint in there so we get that out while we can now because I did use two different brands paint so I'm getting a couple of little reactions as well um, I was noticing that that's a glob of paint can I see any other globs of paint? Globs, blobs, whichever we want to call them. Bits of paint that we don't want there. So, that's looking pretty cool. There's, there's a nice assortment and even amount of colours there. So, I'm actually really pleased with that. So, now we have our top swipe colour. So, this is a Montmartre white mixed with the glue mixture and some silicon added. Now, we're just going to give it a good little stir just to make sure that it is nice and even in case that oil has separated or sunk. Alrighty. Wonderful. Now with my paper towels, I always want to use the edge that's a little bit jagged. That's the plan. So what we do is, we put it in about a few centimeters worth of paint. Then we put it on and we drag trying to do it straight and keep it on the whole canvas. Now once that's done, I don't use that towel again. I'm going to have to turn them that way, so I grab them the right end. Might put a little bit more white on actually, because it's not spreading the whole distance. But keep it nice and low when you swipe, Otherwise, it lifts up in certain spots and you don't end up getting the full streak. And 
and it is just a matter of continuously doing it. I quite like the effects that I got with these. And you can use whatever thickness or width of paper towel that you want. This one, I cut into this shape because it fits in my container easy enough. You have to make sure that your paper towel's at least a little bit thinner than your container or you can't fit it in there properly. Whoops, it did a drop then. And... Look, I'm getting reactions already. So that's because I got two different brands of paint in there. Um, sometimes you might want that, sometimes you might not want that. So just keep that in mind when you are actually doing these. Whoops, another drip. So um, I will quickly mention the bushfires that we had, they've mostly been put out. So we had a cyclone that came through. Well, uh, a tropical low from the tail end of a cyclone that came through. And that has cooled and wet a bit down. So the fires have actually settled down. They're not completely out, but um, we're not in danger like we were before. But it was, it was quite sad. Um, like... I think it was nearly 90 homes got destroyed and that much bushland and animals. So it was, it was really sad to see. It's one of those things that happens in certain areas, um, certain climates. We're very hot and dry here. Well, in summer we're hot and dry, in winter we're cold and wet. Wonderful. And as you can see, I'm actually getting cells form already. Okay, it's dripping a little bit. Wait for those drips. The edges can be the harder parts. Wonderful. Oh, that turned out pretty good. Just going to try to keep my line a little bit more straighter. I, I tend to waver a little bit with the lines. Um, it's, I don't mean to, it just happens. When you're not doing a video too, so when you do a video, I like doing the videos, but we also have to watch the time because we don't want people to be sitting around for longer than they need to be to watch the video. So. I wouldn't say I rush my artwork, but sometimes I don't go as slow as I possibly could. So when you're at home and you're doing it by yourself, take your time. If you need to stop for a second and look at it in a different angle, do that. Don't always think that you've got to do it the same, the same way or the same speed. I just know um, some people, I don't know how to edit, so I don't know how to make my videos like how to speed it up plus I talk a lot during my videos which I give information about so I have always been a little bit of a um, talk and see how and the videos can sometimes go long so we, we try to well I, I try not to let them go too long even though sometimes they are alrighty Oops, I don't want to do that. So as you can see, the deep sea is probably becoming the more dominant colour so far. But the other colours will come up in the cells. So don't always stress that your top colour is becoming the more dominant one. And there is streaks of other colours in there. I 
I'm liking this. I like the colours. I like green. I don't use green a lot. Um, green, green with other greens is good, but I find when you put green with 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 different colours, it can be a little bit of a bully. And we don't always like bullies. Some colours have always been that way. I think magenta can be that way as well. Um, it likes an orange as well. They they tend to want to be quite dominant with their with how they um, show up. Alrighty, we're getting there. We're getting closer and closer to the end, and then it's the torching time, which. <laughs> Can sometimes be fun and sometimes be nerve-wracking. So see I'm trying to keep my lines relatively straight. Um, that's because I want it straight. If you want them wavy you could wave it. I'm not sure how the paper towel would hold up to doing waves. Because this, this, especially this paper towel, is relatively thinnish. Okay, that's it. So now I'm putting the lid on my white because there's so much white here to do that many artworks. It's not funny. Um, now what we do is we get our blowtorch back out. And as you can see, some cells are forming by themselves. Now, going to turn it down and I'm going to try to avoid that centre part a lot. I'm going to try to get more cells down around And just got to watch you don't get too close and make too many clusters. I am getting some clusters. So I use a different glue and I use a different silicone to some other people. So like Julie will use a different glue, um, she uses a different silicon. So you do get different effects you depending on your brands. Same with your brands of paint. If you use different brands of paint they do react a little bit differently so keep things like that in mind if you're trying to recreate something if you're just trying to have fun and see what you get just go with it have fun that's what it's all about I try and tell people all the time I do art because I enjoy it um, and I, I actually enjoy showing people what I do and hearing about them wanting to try to do something similar, it's kind of a bit of a proud moment when somebody wants to do an artwork that they've seen that you do and they want to do something the same. I have got my heat gun on quite a low setting. I'm worried about getting too, whoa. Worried about doing things like that. Getting too close and getting large clusters. Sometimes you wanna to try to keep, I try to keep my cells and my effects relatively, <clears throat> Pardon me. Relatively even. I don't want like tons on that side and not many on this side. Just want a couple more to come up in this area. But I'm doing it very carefully. Whoops, I think I got a couple there.
I think I'm, yep, I'm going to end using the torch now. Oops, I'm always knocking things over. So I got a couple that came up in this center area, but I didn't want too many. Um, Cause sometimes they go a little bit more, cause the white is thinner, they go a little bit more wonky um, in their shape. And I, I don't, not as keen on that one, but I can't fix that. If I swipe there, I will skew all these cells that have come up. So you just have to go, ah, oh, that's done. I'm, sometimes we're also picky of one thing. Um, when really you don't need to be. <clears throat> but this is really cool. So I've got some really nice cells. I love those ones there. I like the dark, the, the dark deep sea cells. They're really nice. And even these ones that have got deep sea with other colours coming through them. They're beautiful. I'm really pleased with this one. It's the green that I wanted. But it's actually got quite a fair bit of white in it. I wanted it to stay a bit more white. Um, not kind of lose that center area. And these are ones that mostly came up by themselves through reactions of paint, which is just these centery ones. Um, when these ones are torch ones. I actually think that I could make um, this a little bit thicker again and see what effects I get if I make it thicker. So I, I haven't used glue all. But I believe the clear glue that I do use is a thinner paint than the glue all. So if, if I mix it to the same ratio, I will probably get quite different results. So that's why I purposely am making this thicker and I would like to try making it thicker again to see what results I get next time. I was hoping to get more singular cells and not as many clusters, but... It's, it's what it is. Um, you just have to go with the flow sometimes. I, am, I do have a small, um, a small bottle of glue oil that I'm going to try. But um, it really wasn't very cheap compared to, <laughs> compared to the, the school glue or the clear glue. It, it was not cheap at all. Uh, hopefully I'll find a, a place that has it a little bit more better priced. But um, this is cool. Now. We don't want these cells to become askew, especially around the edges. So we're going to scrape off this excess paint. Because if we don't do that, all these ones on the edges will end up getting pulled over the edge. And they'll get that like teardrop shape instead of an actual circle cell shape. Alrighty, so now that I've done that, I think we're all good. I think it's time to come in and have some close-ups. <laughs> 